Hey guys, welcome to Tetris Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about how to convert Figma design to HTML and CSS Figma tutorial. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. If you are searching for a collaboration tool and design software, just click the link in the description box below to get started and sign up with Figma today. And before we head on to the step-by-step -step tutorial for this one, let's do a quick overview onto what is Figma. Figma is actually a cloud-based design collaboration tool that has become integral in the field of user interface and user experience design. So this has been allowing designers to create, prototype, and collaborate on designs in real time, and it has been eliminating the need for traditional design software installation. So Figma's importance lies in its collaborative feature. So these enable multiple team members to work simultaneously on a design, comment on specific elements, and provide feedback in real time. So this cloud-based approach enhances efficiency, fosters seamless collaboration among design teams, developers, and stakeholders, and has been ensuring that everyone involved is working with the most up-to-date version of the project. So these versatility and accessibility make it a cornerstone tool to modern design workflows facilitating the creation of visually appealing and user-friendly digital products. So as you can see, it has also a dev mode wherein it brings design and dev closer. So this is a new space in Figma for developers bringing clarity to design and giving developers the tools they need to translate them into the code. So also here on figma onto the design system you could scale designs and development so these will save you time and keep things consistent with reusable assets in shared library standardized components in variables so that there's more time for exploration and less time doing busy work also there is figjam wherein you could align your team because figjam is an online whiteboard where everyone who builds product can collaborate so you could use it to bring your team together in new ways from kickoffs and stand-ups to rituals and red groups. So this is what it would look like. And for you to be able to get started, right after you click onto the description box below, you should get redirected onto this website. And for us to be able to create an account, you'll just have to click on to get started for free. Now signing up on Figma is just easy. You'll have the option to continue using your Google account where you'll just need to choose the Google account that you want to use or type in your email and password and then you'll also have the option to agree to join Figma's mailing list. So you'll just have to click onto the checkbox in here and then create account. So please do know that by clicking create account or this continue with Google, you should agree to the Figma TOS and privacy policy. So you could also use a single sign-on and if you have an account already, just simply click onto login. So just the same process, it is really straightforward. You could continue using your Google account, type in your email and password, and log in for that one. So personally, I try to use continue with Google every time so that I don't have to remember my email and password. I'll just have to click onto the account that I want to use. And then right after logging in or signing up, you should get redirected onto this page. So this is what Figma's dashboard looks like. So currently we're here onto the recent or the home wherein you should be able to see in here the fig job. So there are some things or more like a tutorial here onto the upper part for that one. And mainly here onto the recent, you should be able to see the recently viewed files on your account. You also have the shared files and the shared projects. So there are different filters in here that you could activate. We also have here onto the upper part if you want to create from scratch the design file wherein you could choose where to add the design into your team project or into your draft also the fake jam board and you could import also from other websites now going here onto the left side you should be able to see your account settings wherein it gives you an option to see the account change the theme settings desktop app your account in here add in another account and log out your account you could also see the notification and your teams and drafts and since currently we're using the free plan, if you want to go beyond, there are also free premium features that it offers. So let's click on to view plans for that. Now you could go ahead also and choose a plan that is right for you. There are two options for that, the monthly billing and the yearly billing. So as you can see, we're currently using the starter, which is free for trying things out. But we also have the professional, which is the most popular for you and your team with unlimited files and all the pro features. So these are the different prices for that in the organization for bringing teams together, sharing an org-wide design system and many more. And here is the price for that. 
so you could contact sales for that one and if you scroll down a little bit you should be able to see the different things that it offers onto its specific plan now if you want to go ahead and try to use that just click on to upgrade fill in the details so you should be able to use that plan and you could also see all features in here so that you could compare it and you could actually choose which one is right for you now right after once you have your design ready in there or if you've got something that you want to convert to css or html so you'll get redirected here onto the editing page we're just gonna head here onto the upper part and we're gonna go here onto plugins so we'll need to manage plugins in here in here onto the search bar what we'll need to do in here is we're gonna type in teleport hq so this is figma to code and then you should be able to open this plugin already so if you're still new to this if you're just starting out you actually have the option to install it first you'll see a run option click onto that and you should be able to just follow the prompts to completely install it so that is just a straightforward process and once you have done that you should be able to see this small screen as well so that it will also prompt you to select one or multiple object to get started so for us to be able to do that, we're going to go ahead and try to click onto something in here, more like a layer or anything, so that you should be able to see in here the selected elements. And then right after, you should be able to see some options in here. So this is actually unsupported. You need to choose something that is supported by this so that you could go ahead and try to um, convert it. Now, as you can see, the expected result may differ from Figma design. Once you have this, what you'll need to do is you'll just need to copy the objects to your clipboard. So we're just going to wait for this one while the elements are still being copied out so that you could go ahead and paste it onto Teleport HQ. Then right after, once it is done, you should be able to see this pop-up screen where it says that the copy was successful and you can now paste it, all the copied elements, into your Teleport HQ project. So right after that, you'll just need to head onto Teleport HQ's website, so you need to create an account for that one. So it is just easy, just the same process, onto creating an account onto Figma. So you should be able to see your workspace in here, you'll just need to create a new project or if you have... A project already that you have created you'll just have to click onto that one and then this is where you could go ahead and paste in the design so we'll just need to wait for that one to load so that we could go ahead and automatically paste it so this is actually from my previous design so for us to be able to go ahead and try to paste it like that what you'll need to do is you'll just need to go ahead and use the shortcut key control v to paste the design here just like this as you can see we've gone ahead and paste it and you could actually move this or customize this further as per your need now for you to be able to see the different codes so you should be able to see that one in here so you'll have the option to view the css or the html code for that one so for you to be able to view that you should be able to see this button here onto the upper part the generated code beside the download option or the expert button so if you click onto that one you should be able to see the generated code onto your specific design so as you can see here you could choose onto the different options we have the react view angular you have also the html in here if you want to see this through html and css so you also have here the UIDL. So once you have the different codes in here, you'll have the option to copy this one out and paste it onto your different needs. So that's just basically it onto converting your Figma design to HTML and CSS using this tool link here, which is Travel HQ. And if you think this has been helpful to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Thanks for watching and it's up until next time. We'll see you on to our next video.